In this video, you're gonna learn a little hack on how to add specific messages to specific products. Not all of your products, just the ones you want. And we're gonna do this little hack by using tags. It's gonna be super easy. At the end, it's gonna look amazing. So stick to the end. Bonjour, bonjour, shop for world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. As you know, this is the green hoodie. We're doing Shopify coding below in the description. There is a link. If you follow that link, put in your email address, you will get the full document with all of the code that we're using in right here. So you can just copy and paste the code instead of having to figure it out. All right, let's just jump straight into our store. So welcome to our demo store right here. And just to show that I'm not bamboozling you, um, I'm going to this amazing chakra bra, 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 bracelet. Oh my God, that was weird. I got stuck there for a second. Um, this amazing chakra bracelet, um, let's view it. You know, it looks like this, there's no message. And if I do message here or something like that, nothing, nothing's gonna happen. If I add the tag message here, Nothing's gonna happen. There is no message. I feel betrayed. But we're gonna change that right now. So uh, in order to change that, it's actually really simple. You're gonna go to your online store right here. You're gonna wait until it loads. And when it's loaded, you're going to go to the live theme or the theme you wanna make a change on. You're gonna click actions and you're going to click duplicate. If you forget this, you're an idiot. Do not skip this step because if you make a mistake in your code and you're not good enough with code that you can't figure out what mistake you made, it's screwed. You have to hire a developer. Just duplicate the theme. Now you have a backup. You work on the backup. And if you mess up, you just delete the backup and you start over. All right, cool. We're on the same page. Um, you're going to click actions. Once the duplication is done, you're going to click actions and you're going to click edit code. And then you have some drum roll in the back. Because right now, ladies and gentlemen, you have arrived to the code editor. All right, once you're here, we're going to go here, right here on the left, we're gonna find the sections section. It's so confusing. Uh, the sections, and then we're gonna look for product-template. Uh, let's see, where are you? Recommendations, product-template. Here we go. So product template dot liquid again under the sections. If you don't have it, something that looks similar, the naming might be a little bit different. I mean, there's over hundreds of teams out there and there's fast ones, slow ones. I made a video about that, um, about which ones are fast, which ones are slow, and they're all very different. But you know, it's gonna be named something like product template dot liquid as long as it's in the section section. This is confusing. <laughs> All right, once we're there, let's say I want to add the message to above the add to cart. So we're going to click Control F on Windows, Command F on a Mac, and we are going to do add. And then this is going to pop up a button type submit. Oh, if your button type is submit, that is your add to cart button, considering we're on the product template. Um, so this entire section right here, that's the beginning of a button, that's the end of the button. So if I want to write something above the button, I do a couple of enters. Spacings do not matter in HTML and CSS. So I create a bunch of white space and I paste the code that I've provided. Copy and paste it. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna make it look a little bit prettier like this. You don't, I recommend you doing it, but you don't have to do it. A little bit more, it's a little bit too much. And then I'm going to even do a little gift to the next person that's going to be playing in this um, theme start code message by tag. All right, Andrew, why are you doing this? Well, you know, this way, the next developer that walks into this theme, they don't have to spend hours trying to figure out why there is a tag being called here and what's happening. No, they just look at the comment. When it's great, it's commented out. It's not real code, it's just a comment. And they say, oh, this is the start of the code message by tag. Okay, uh, this is the end of the code 
for the message by tag. Maybe I should do it like because even with comments, it's not clear sometimes, as you can see. Anyway, if you don't want to put the gray part in of the commenting, just forget it. Just copy and paste what is written, and you're good to go. Basically, what it says is, you know, if you find a tag and the con the tag contains the word new message, um, then remove the word new message from the tag and paste whatever comes after the word new message right above the cart button. Now, if you don't want it to appear above the card button, you can move this, you, you can play around with it. So you can, um, you know, cut. And you can paste this on other places, you, as long as it's in the product-template.liquid. You kind of have to try it for yourself. You know, if you don't want it above the add to card button, you can do it below the add to card button. You can do it above like the description. You can do it below the description, above the pro, above the images. You can kind of paste it like here, or you can paste it here, or you can paste it. You know, you kind of play around with it and then look at the result and then come back and play around with it again. Um, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do it above the add to cart. All right, save. And that was it for the code. Now, uh, one very important thing is that you need to copy this new message. You don't need to copy it, but you need the spelling exactly the same um, with the caps exactly at the same places. So no caps for new, but uh, M in caps for message. That's really important uh, because you're going to take that, like I said, Take it like this, you're going to copy it, that's the easiest way. Now you're going to go to Products, I have my Chakra Bracelet, all right, and it's here. Products, Chakra Bracelet, all right, so you go to the Chakra Bracelet right here, you can paste what we have just written, and you say this product is available for pick up at the boutique just text me. All right, so you're not supposed to write an entire Bible here. Like this is for messages and notes and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't work for, it could work for a product description. Just don't do it. It's really not meant to work like that for a product description. It's a hack. So uh, once you have that, um, yeah, you add that new message. So you got it here as a tag now, and then you save it. And then if you view it, it's not going to appear because I forgot to put our theme life. So you go back to the online store. You go to online store right here. Um, and remember, we worked on this one last save two minutes ago. We did not touch this one. So this one is not live. So we do actions. We do publish. Are you sure you want to publish this? Yes, we're sure. We want the whole world to see our new code. Uh, all right. Now it's live. So I go back to products, chakra bracelet, I view it. I guess it was open here. I could have just. This product is available for pickup at the boutique. Just text me. Oh, but Andrew, does it appear on all of them? No. Look, origami, it's not here. <laughs> Silver traded necklaces ain't there. Mm. But Andrew, I want the guardian angel earrings. God, where did I come up with these names? Um, I went there to be a message there. Okay, fair enough. The guardian angel earrings. Look at that. Look at that. I can do tags, uh, paste, new message. Yep. Here is a specific message. You get the point. You, you're smart enough. You're like, oh, I get it. Uh, and that, that's basically it. It's, Oh, it takes a moment. Close preview. Why are you not showing yet? You. New message. Here is a specific. Why are you not working? Here is a specific message. There you go. It takes a moment before it uploads, but it did work. So yes, if you're building your store like this, make sure to check out this video that we did about the seven steps that you kind of have to check out before you start building stores. It's going to save you tons of money and time. I do it with my Shopify Plus clients and even they are like, oh my God, there's value in this, even though I'm Shopify Plus and I make a million a month. 
Yes, sir, madam, there is. So uh, make sure to check out that video. Also make sure to like and subscribe. And if you couldn't find all of the code that I copy pasted, it's in the description. The first link, just click on it, put in your email and it will get to your email address. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Andrew from Ecom Experts and I will see you in un autre video. Shabbat.